Well, hello Aquarius. Welcome to your love story reading for the first half of August. Hope you're doing amazing. Hello, I'm Amber. Welcome back if you're returning. If you're new, hello. Welcome here. So, um, this is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Check your Venus sign. Um, or, if you need a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Link's in the description box below. Or you can go to the website up above, Aquarius. I'm also on social media, Patreon, and face, well, Patreon, Facebook, and Instagram. Um, I'm giving away something every month this year. Check that out on social media. Also, um, I do pick a cards, weekly readings, transit sneak peeks, but you can get the full transit readings on Patreon, as well as the extended and access to these videos two weeks early, earlier than everyone else. So. Um, we have religious factors. This could be the one and unrequited love for you, Aquarius. So, I feel like you're getting through some really hard times when it comes to your um, relationship. I feel like you're starting to look at things from a higher perspective, okay? So, it's more about action now and less about the thinking part or the organizing of the thinking, okay? Um... I do feel like you're aware that there are problems in a relationship or with this person. You know, you're fully aware of that. And you're seeing that specifically what you were looking for, this person cannot give you. It doesn't mean that they're a bad person. You're just seeing that they can't give that to you, right? And because of that, you know, you're getting away from the fact that, you know, this person is a bad person or they're, they're tricking you, okay? Uh, for some of you, you need to see that this person cannot give you what it is that you're looking for. Some of you are deciding to deal with it if you're in a relationship. Some of you are not. But I do see that you are coming to that conclusion. You know, that is that piece of enlightenment for you. I do feel like at this point, though, Aquarius, you don't know what you're going to do about that yet. Okay? It's more about a knowing. It's more about knowing and things being revealed to you fully then you knowing what it is that you're going to do about it yet. Okay. So let's see what the past, what happened in the past to bring in this energy. So we have the Ten of Cups, the Sun, and the Queen of Chalices. So I feel like you know that there was a problem. I feel like no matter how much you tried to nurture this relationship, the problem was kind of always lingering there. I do feel like you came off of a good stride, though, because I feel like you um, were happy, you know, blissful, feeling like your family or your relationship is together, um, you know, just feeling good. I feel like you were on an upturn, you know, um, but I feel like the closer that you get to happiness or the happier you get, the more that the problem is there you know like you can't hide from it the issues the problems whatever the conflicts are between you are there and I feel like in the past you just decided to nurture those be positive think about it in a higher perspective that's what I'm getting yeah it's like you decided to try to move on but the problem was always there and your key to dealing with it was to nurture this person or nurture the situation, okay? So let's see where you are in the first half of August. Seven of Wands, the Hermit, the King of Swords, the Eight of Swords. Wow, that energy turned real hard. Um, Knight of Swords, five, three of, or five of Wands, excuse me. The Nine of Wands and the Four of Swords. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, this is assessing the balance of the situation. It's interesting because I'm feeling like this person is still stuck in the old energy. You know, like thinking everything is fine and great and gravy. I don't feel like it's not, you know, but I feel like there's a bit of an assessment going on deeper than what was going on last half of the month. So, let's look at your energy, Aquarius. I 
I feel like you can't take the facade anymore. Like, you tried to be happy, you tried to be nurturing, but I feel like you want there to be some sort of action, okay? Um, and for a lot of you, it's really hard for you to figure out what that action is going to be. I don't feel like you're trying to end things. I don't feel like you're trying to cut someone off. I feel like you don't want to be negative or you don't want this to turn negative. So you're thinking about it. You're going within. You're taking a, a come to Jesus moment for yourself. But you do know that there needs to be some change. You do know that you need to say what you need to say. I feel like you don't want to be empty anymore. You don't want this to not have any drive or any focus. You know, you definitely want some sort of change. And you're doing that self-reflection to figure out what that change is going to be. And I feel like you're very adamant about it with this King of Swords. Very adamant. I do feel like eventually you're going to... I feel like you're going to be very um, mouthy. I, <laughs> I don't know how else to explain this, but I feel like you have a lot that you want to say and you're very serious about it um but i feel the need to tell you to think about things before you say them the whole point is to get your point across to change a situation or to balance it you don't want to kind of overindulge this person with all of your thoughts i don't feel like they're going to be able to process it correctly because it looks like what they're seeing is just a whole bunch of conversation and conflict. So this is a person that's looking at you like you're just upset. And they're not understanding what it is that you're trying to communicate. So because things are coming at them with fury, I feel like this person's going to put a wall up or shut down. And everything that you've worked on or everything that you are trying to get across is not going to get across to this person. So even though you're trying to get your point across, it's something about you needing to slow down and think about what you're saying. Because it needs to be communicated in a way that this person's going to understand it. There has to be some sort of give and receive to this communication to get things to move. But it's almost like this feels very wit, wit's end for you. This is very hard energy. And this is very blocked energy. Let me pull some of these cards. For a lot of you, Aquarius, I feel like you're seeing happiness around you. Maybe other people's happiness or you've gotten some sort of attention. Um, you know, this is like a realization that you have created this situation for yourself. Um, and what I mean by that is sometimes when we're okay with something or we try to let something pass, it just gets worse and worse and worse because we're not fixing it, you know? And that's what you're feeling. Not that you are to blame. It's just that you're feeling like there needs to be some sort of immediate change so I can be comfortable. And you're very serious about it. You're very serious about a new beginning, new love, new happiness. It's like you need that and you're trying to communicate that or get things moving in that direction. Even if this person doesn't see it that way, this is where you are. You know, like whatever facade or whatever you were trying to be okay with, it's just not working out for you moving forward. So you're in a really weird spot. And I feel like you just want to get your point across so heavy that it's coming off very foolish to everyone else or this other person. Like you're not thinking about things. And, but what you're doing is you're trying to release this feeling that you have because you're tired, you're worn out, you're ready for change. Okay? This is something that you've kept to yourself for a long time, you've been thinking about for a long time. 
but just know that there has to be some sort of balance and I feel like that's what's going to be hard because what you're dealing with is all of the things from the past or all of that energy you've been holding in that has built up flowing into this so it's just pushy it's flooding out really fast and the balance is what's going to be hard here so this person that you're dealing with is perceiving you as being angry or upset or strict or not wanting to um, balance. They're seeing it in like a negative way, unfortunately. And they're like, oh, here we go again. Um, that's what it feels like. It's like they just are shutting down. They don't know what else to do. This person wasn't in control before. Uh, little do you know this person has given up the reins because they don't want to lose you. So they're just open, you know, very vulnerable. And I feel like because they feel very vulnerable in this, what seems to be conflicting energy is coming towards them. They want to hurry up and throw up, you know, a wall to protect themselves. So they're going to shut down in order to maintain some sort of happiness. They feel like not engaging with an argument with you is what's going to save this situation. You know, because they don't want this to be rejection. They don't want it to fail. They don't want to lose you. So their, their idea right now, Aquarius, is just to endure what you're throwing at them. Which... They feel like this is just another phase maybe that you're going through. They're not understanding that you're trying to communicate something serious. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Because you're trying to create a stable environment. Um, you know, this is your way of opening up your heart in a small way. And they're looking at it as you kind of attacking them. If, in a way, okay? So let's get a sneak peek at mid-August. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Chariot. This person that you're dealing with is going to do whatever they need to do to get this to go in the right direction. And I feel like they don't know what to do. They just don't want to lose the this, this stable... The stability of the relationship. That's what they're scared of. Everything's up in the air to you. I feel like you're just... You're starting to look at other options. I don't know if this is... A, for some of you, this is other love options. But I feel like you just want change. And at this point, it kind of feels like you don't even care anymore. Um, you care, but it's like... Yeah, it just feels very empty. With the Five of Cups, it's like you're hurt. That things are not going the way that they should. This being challenged is not how you wanted it to go. You know, and you're starting to feel emotionally distressed and you need some sort of release. Yeah, you need some sort of release. So be careful about deflecting this energy to things in your life that are stable because you know that it's not going to go anywhere. You know, like friends that you've had for a long time or family, putting that energy on them. You know, instead of this, okay? So this person is focused on trying to end you starting new projects or doing new things. Because they feel like you're going to drift away from them. That's their new focus. They see you drifting away from them and they don't like it. So you're going, I feel like, where your desires are taking you. And you're trying to release any heavy burdens that's going on in your life because you feel imbalanced in this situation. So I feel like you're starting to move in the direction of peace, pretty much. Okay? So I'm going to pull an oracle card to close out this reading for the first half of August for you, Aquarius. Okay. We have love where you are. Use your sensitivity to know when to act. Connect to your heart and head when determining what you would like. Yes. So Aquarius, what you're doing is assessing how you feel right now. 
I feel like your emotions at this time are overwhelming to you and you need to make some sort of decision. It's like, I need to go left, I need to go right, something needs to change. It's not that you want to leave this person. You like the stability of the situation that you're in. But there needs to be some adjustments. There needs to be some changes. And you're trying to connect to your emotions, your heart, your feelings, your desires. And what happens when that is not being received is you get angry. And not just angry, but very emotional and very direct and very forceful. And I feel like it's shutting this person down. But there's nothing you can do really about those feelings because you're just so passionate about what it is that you want. So it is what it is, you know. So Aquarius, thank you so much for being here. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.